out uh, every time these two players hit a ball after uh, the point and during the point. So the crowd is really into it. Uh, apparently it's pronounced Robakina, or uh, no, it's pronounced uh, Rabakina. I've been saying Rabakina for two or three years. I just follow what Lindsay Davenport says, uh, one of our tennis analysts here in the United States. But they're saying Rabakina uh, today, and these are commentators over there in Europe uh, being broadcasted uh, in the United States uh, today. So we're getting a treat uh, hearing uh, those awesome ass accents overseas. Uh, not, I'm not in the studio today. I'm filming in a, a small town in Texas. We're normally in Dallas, Texas, but outside the studio today watching this one very early in the morning uh, over here in the U.S. If you're watching in Poland right now, which I'm sure hundreds of thousands of people are, uh, so if you're, you're choosing to watch your tennis here on Best Muscle Video on YouTube, thank you so much. I know you have a lot of options where you watch your tennis. Uh, Iga Swiatek has just lost the first set. Uh, she was down, well, she was up to love, and now she is losing six, uh, she lost 6-3 in the first set, so we'll see what happens in the second. Uh, Robakina, not Robakina, Robakina is, uh, is doing fantastic. Uh, we'll just call her Elena from now on. This is uh, uh, Elena and Iga. I've uh, played so many times in their careers, and um, if I had to guess, I would say it's gone 50-50 uh, on who's who's won these ones. So uh, we'll see if uh, a lot of what happens. Uh, a lot of people are obviously surprised that Iga um, loses the first set in this one. Uh, Iga Swiatek are not only our pole queen, but also uh, the clay court master. So um, uh, who knows? Maybe uh, the nerves getting the best of her. Uh, I don't think so, though. She had a fast start. She got up too low, but um, interesting to see how this one is playing out. I haven't seen Thomas in the crowd. That was an interesting. Uh, Thomas is, of course, Iga's coach. I haven't seen him there, but her father's there, right there in the front row. Her father is sitting there, a uh, former Olympian athlete, her father, and uh, uh, sitting right there on the baseline on, on one of the sides of the court, uh, looking kind of nervous, to be honest with you. Um, Stuttgart is a really interesting tournament. Obviously, it's just weeks away from the French Open, uh, which Iga, uh, quite frankly, if she doesn't win the French Open, will be a disappointment uh, for her team, I would think. And um, uh, I believe she's playing in Madrid uh, later this month. So let me know in the comments. Uh, you, you, you do such a good job, you guys, on putting in the comments uh, info and your obviously your opinions and stuff like that. So please... Uh, Hit me in the comments, and I, I will respond. Um, uh, I think she's playing in Madrid later this month, so uh, literally, actually, in the next two or, two or three days. It's amazing how many um, matches these or different countries these players go to. Uh, Coco Goff no longer in this. I think she was knocked down in the quarterfinals. Arena, Sab Arena Sabalenka uh, has made the last two finals against Iga Swiatek in this tournament. Uh, but she was knocked out as well, so we'll have another. I think it's Vondrosova is in the uh, semi other semifinal, and that's that's coming up right after this match. We'll see if the crowd is uh, packed in this that match as well. Hopefully, Iga Swiatek is going to win the second set and the third and be in the final as well. I'm going to be so sad if uh, Elena is in the <laughs> final. Although Elena is pretty awesome too, uh, but we love our we love our Iga Swiatek. She is amazing. Um, I did not. I did not get to watch. Um, I'm so sad. I was so sad about it. I didn't get to watch uh, Emma Raducanu uh, and Iga Swiatek play yesterday in the quarterfinal. Uh, that, but I saw the score. It was interesting that uh, Raducanu was able to take Iga to seven six in the first set. Maybe that was a telling sign because, I mean, was it? Do you tell me, was it Emma Raducanu playing well or was it Iga Swiatek uh, not playing as good? Because I've never seen that before. Uh, dating back to when Emma and Iga used to play each other in girls' juniors, uh, I've never seen uh, Emma take Iga to a, a tiebreaker or even win a set off of Iga. So um, it wasn't a close tiebreaker, but it was like 7-6 and then, um, or excuse me, it was 7-2 uh, in the tiebreaker. And uh, then Iga won, I think, the second set, 6-2. So um, I think Iga's only played, like, two matches, hasn't she? She's played, I want to say, two matches, maybe three in this one. But uh, uh, she got the bye, and then she's either played two or three matches. Played Emma, and then she played another one. 
maybe this is only our third uh, match of this uh, tournament in the semifinal, and then uh, she'll play the final tomorrow. And I think if it, yeah, it's Vondrosova later today, but I'm not quite sure who Vondrosova is playing. Um, a lot of tennis going on, and wonderful to see these uh, two women doing so well. Um, so yeah, let me let me uh, head back to the uh, the match, as I'm sure you're watching as well. Um, uh, this may be a treat for you uh, to hear some of uh, this match as we add some value here. Um, uh, wondering overseas in Poland if you're getting different commentators. Always hear, good to hear different commentators commentating this one. Kind of interesting how uh, Tennis Channel doesn't have their normal setup, I don't think, uh, in this one uh, as they would in, in the Miami Open. Um and then uh, uh, the one before that one, uh, they the their staff does a fantastic job. But these are two different commentators, and um, not sure that why they didn't like that. But um, I know they were kind of stretched thin uh, covering the Billie Jean King event uh, last weekend. So maybe that's it. Um, very much stretched thin. Uh, I think Switzerland played Poland. And then the U.S. played uh, someone else uh, in like two different countries, I think. So that was really interesting. And um, I didn't even—I didn't get to watch that either. I didn't get to watch Iga Swiatek playing the Billie Jean King event. Uh, I think Iga played a couple of matches, and that would have been really nice to see over here in the U.S. But I don't think it was broadcasted here. <laughs> but Saturday morning, freaking early here in Texas, in the southern part of the U.S., it's raining outside. But no way I was going to um, not get sleep and watch this Iga Swiatek match. So let's see what happens in the second set. Hopefully Iga's winning in the second set right now. Uh, she lost the first set 6-3 after being up too loud. Let's get back to it. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the subscribe button. Please do so. Uh, and um, there is also a thanks button on the bottom right of the video player. Do you see that word thanks right there? I'll leave you with this. Um, uh, there's the thanks button on YouTube, on your phone, or on your computer. On the bottom right, just scroll down. You can send me money that way. Thank you so much for your support. I'm so exhausted right now. But uh, uh, Iga Swiatek, Elena Rabakina, uh, let's get back to it and see what happens. Please, Iga, win the second set. Make us happy, and if you lose, uh, no worries. We still love you.